Hey everyone, this is Justin from the Bill Corps Wellness Center, coming back at you with another workout of the day. Uh, before I get started, quick disclaimer that this video is intended for members of the Bill Corps Wellness Center and employees of Molson Corps only. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and go over the format for this class. Um, I have a backpack with me right here, <clears throat> and inside of it, I've got some textbooks. Um, I've got about three, they're pretty big. Obviously, use whatever you can to add some weight to this. It could be rocks, it could be jugs of water, milk, um, really anything that you have on hand. Um, I'd say mine weighs around 15 to 20 pounds, and we're gonna be using this for the bulk of the exercises today, um, along with some uh, cardio moves. So. Once you've got your implement, and it doesn't have to be a backpack, it could be, and if you've got a kettlebell on hand, like I have here, you could always use that, or two dumbbells of the same weight, you could always use that as well. Um, but I'm gonna show you everything with the backpack because I'm pretty sure most people have a backpack, not everyone is gonna have a kettlebell or dumbbells. But if you have them, feel free to use them. So. Having said that, we're doing a AMRAP style workout today, uh, which basically means as many reps as possible for a given amount of time. So we've got a 30 minute workout today. The first AMRAP is five minutes. The second is 10 minutes. And then the third is 15. So you're gonna have multiple exercises for each AMRAP that you'll see listed in the description below. And your goal is to get as many rounds of those exercises for the reps prescribed, as many as you can in that time period. So let's go ahead and go over the exercises that you've got for the first AMRAP of five minutes. You don't need uh, your backpack for this one or your weights, it's all body weight. So for five minutes, you're gonna set the timer and you're gonna give me, you're gonna give me five skaters on each leg. So advanced version for this is gonna be actually hopping. And then notice that I'm kind of coming back, but I'm not tapping the foot. So I'm trying to keep it hovered like so, five on each side. If Alternatively, if you don't wanna do the jump, you could do a curtsy lunge where I'm actually stepping behind and tapping, or then alternating. So I do five on each side. Once I've got that done, I'm laying on the floor and I'm doing V-ups. So I'm gonna bring my legs up first, I then reach up with my hands and touch my toes. I'm doing 10 of these. <clears throat> That's the advanced modification. If you want something slightly easier, then you could do in and outs. And if you're doing the in and outs, you're giving me 20 versus the 10 V-ups. Once you've got those done, you're gonna move to 15 half burpees. So the half burpee just references doing no push-up. So you're gonna put your hands in front of your feet, uh, shoulder width apart, I'm kicking my feet out, then I'm kicking them back up, I'm standing and I'm jumping. So that would be one, you're giving me 15. Full speed is here. So that's your AMRAP number one, three exercises. Then you're gonna rest one to two minutes. <clears throat> and then once you've rested one to two minutes, you're gonna move to, to your second AMRAP, which is 10 minutes long. So once you've caught your breath, I gotta take a second to catch my own. You're going to set the clock for 10 minutes. And the first task is going to be running for two minutes or jogging or power walking. If your knees are giving you trouble and you'd rather not run or jog or walk, you can complete 50 mountain climbers. And for the 50, one mountain climber rep is considered each leg coming up. So it's keeping your belly tight, driving the knee up, each leg coming up is one. If you choose to do that versus the two minutes of running, then you're giving me 50. After that, 
you're gonna go ahead and grab your backpack or your weights and you're going to do snatches. So this is a quick power movement that takes whatever the weight implement is from the floor to overhead. So you're gonna take it, you could grab it by the sides, you could grab it by the actual straps. I prefer to grab it by the sides and kind of treat it like a sandbag, kind of works your grip strength too. And so for this, I'm gonna give you a side angle first. I'm gonna be in a deadlift position. So that's gonna be hips back, slight bend in the knees. And then I'm gonna drive the floor away from me, like so, but do it very quickly to bring the bag straight from the floor to overhead. So real quick, it's gonna look like that. Driving through the floor, hinging at the hips on the way down, and tossing it straight overhead. Once you've got 20 of those, you're gonna to move to the third and final exercise for the AMRAP, which is a pull through in a high plank position. So start with the backpack off to one side. You're gonna get into a high plank position. So wrists are stacked underneath shoulders. <clears throat> my feet are hip width apart. I'm squeezing my glutes and I'm tightening my core. And then I'm gonna reach, if the bag's on my right, I'm gonna reach with my left behind the right arm, pull it across. Then the left hand comes down. I'm grabbing the bag that's on the left side now with my right hand pulling it across. The important thing here is that you're resisting any rotation as you pull. Right, it'd be real easy for me to just yank this and turn. I want to try to keep my hips and my shoulders as square as possible. You're going to do 10, five on each side, pulling through with that backpack plank pull through. <clears throat> Once you've got 10 minutes running those three exercises as, as many rounds as you can, you're going to rest again, one to two minutes, possibly more if you need it. Grab some water, of course. Uh, then the last AMRAP is 15 minutes long. So you're gonna set your timer for 15 minutes. Your first task is running for three minutes or alternatively, just like the second AMRAP, you could do 75 mountain climbers this time. So that's each leg coming up 75 times. Once you've got the run for three minutes or the 75 mountain climbers done, your second task are hand release push ups. So, for the hand release push up, we are going push up position. More advanced is going to be from here. And we're going to raise or lower, excuse me, lifting the hands up. So, I'm, I'm lowering down, I'm lifting my hands up off the floor, and then I'm pushing away. You can make this harder by spending more time with your chest on the floor and your hands up before you press away. So <clears throat> that's your advanced option if you need to. Do the same thing from the knees. So I'm extending, I'm dropping down all the way belly to the floor. And then I'm removing my hands before I push back up to that tall position here or from the feet here. So once you've got 10 of those, you're gonna move on to walking lunges using your backpack. You've got a couple options here. Level one is gonna be just wearing it and then giving me walking lunges, 10 on each. Let me give you the view going this way away from the camera. Remember, toe is pointed forwards, knee is staying over the toe. I can tap my foot in between if I need to for balance, but ideally I'm trying to flow one step directly into the next, just like so. That's your, that's your level one. Level two is gonna be doing the same thing, but a zercher hold. So we've got it here in the crooks of our elbows. We're keeping the chest up. And then again, walking lunges, 10 on each leg. Hardest version is gonna be an overhead hold, so level three is gonna be holding it over your head as you do your 10 walking lunges 
on each side. When you do those lunges, make sure you're stepping out wide enough so that your heel does not come off the floor when you take that lunge into it. <clears throat> uh, then finally, your fourth task for this 15 minute AMRAP is a clean to push press using your backpack. So you're gonna grab it on either side. I'm gonna get into a similar position as the snatch, which is hips back, slight knee bend. And then I'm going to stand up explosively to get to the bag to my shoulders. And then from here, I'm gonna push my knees forward just a bit. I'm not really dipping a bunch. I'm just more pushing the knees forward only as much as my heels stay on the ground. And then I'm gonna explosively stand up and press the, the bag overhead or the weight. Then I'm coming back to the floor. <clears throat> clean, push press, clean, push press. We're doing 15 of those. <clears throat> then once you get that done, you're rolling through that as many times as you can for that 15 minutes. <clears throat> then once you're done with that, pat yourselves on the back. You just completed a really hard workout. And um, <clears throat> check out our warm-up and mobility stretching videos that are also on the website. Um, make sure you do one of those prior to running this. And then afterwards, we've also got some static stretch routines that you could do as well um, to help you cool down and increase your flexibility. So give those a shot. Let us know how it goes. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.